Right, as the title and the thumbnail say in this video, I will be walking you guys through the top 10 pirate crews of the One Piece world according to my opinion. But before any of that, I would like to talk about the previous video I made because dang, I got eaten alive by the hardcore fans of the series uh, about my opinions and observations. But anyways, to, to actually be honest, I was vague in my explanation as to what I personally think will happen to Luffy. So I kind of had that coming. But let me briefly explain what I actually meant, although, uh, although not in full. But anyways. You see, I strongly believe Luffy will die, but not just yet. I believe this will occur at the end of the series, not now. The reason I took my time to explain why Luffy might die now is simply because Oda has for the longest time now focused on the deteriorating state that Luffy is in. And I know, it might not actually mean anything, but I can't help but focus on the consequences of a character's actions and the presentation of unnecessary elements that have no purpose to the story. Now, take what I just recently said and throw it out, because with Oda's work, characters do face consequences for their actions and the attainment of spontaneous plot altering abilities. Not to mention Oda never adds unnecessary elements to his story and when he does, he makes it clear that it was just a joke. But in this case, I believe I'll have to make another video about this whole topic. So without any further delay, let's start with this uh, video based on my own opinion. Because I just learned that I have to be clear about that. Alright, so at number 10, we have the heart pirates. It's safe to say that Trafclad D. Waterloo is one of the most wanted pirates in the world. Since joining forces with Luffy and his crew during Punk Hazard and Dressrosa, he has gained a lot more fans who would love to see him more often. Now, the Hard Pirates are one of the 10 pirate crews that are part of the worst generation. The crew was first introduced at Subbody Archipelago prior to the time skip. The Hard Pirates have become a lot more powerful since joining up with the Straw Hat Pirates as they have managed to take down some of their enemies together. One Piece fans have come across many different crews who aren't afraid to mess around with other people in order to reach their goals, but there is something special about Lost Heart Pirates that makes them a very dangerous crew. There are 10 crews that earn the title of the worst generation. One of them are the Kid Pirates, led by Eustace Kid, whose bounty is currently 470 million berries. This crew has a lot of potential to be one of the most powerful pirate crews in history. Other members include Killer, who has a bounty of 200 million belly, although much like his captain, it will change after the one arc. As of now, the Kid Pirates have made so much progress on the world stage and their power level combined with their diverse talents has made for some exciting adventures such as beating Big Mom alongside the hard pirate Captain Trafalgar D. Waterloo. They are best known for wreaking havoc and killing civilians along their path through the Grand Line and into the New World. Furthermore, the entire crew was able to withstand the Haki Blast released by Silver's Rayleigh, demonstrating their overall strength. Despite their combat prowess and overall calm demeanor, the members of this crew have an innate sense of haughtiness. Despite being weakened by a pacifista, they and the other supernova crews were able to escape Kizaru's raid. And to the surprise of most people, we have the Beast Pirates. Now, the Beast Pirates are one of the largest and most formidable crews in the world. Under the captaincy of Kaido, they have a total strength of over 20,000 members and ruled Wano Country for 25 years. Their overall power surpasses that of many pirate crews in the New Age. Kaido is known as one of the strongest pirates ever, with a bounty higher than any other except Edward Newgate and Goldie Roger. His crewmates reflect his strength. King is said to be powerful enough to rival an admiral and Queen is considered one of the most dangerous members of the crew. They also possess many members who command a 
powerful influence over other races. Who's who ate the Neko Neko no Mi model Saber Tiger, an ancient Zoan type devil fruit that enables him to transform into a saber tooth tiger and a human tiger hybrid. Who's who is enormous in his full beast form, surpassing ordinary humans. And then we have Scratchman Apu, who wields music based powers, Basil Hawkins makes voodoo dolls, among many of his uh, powers. So the beast pirates, led by Emperor Kaido, are one of the world's four most powerful pirate crews. Don Quixote do Flamingo, a former warlord of the sea and former leader of his own extremely powerful pirate crew, who usually maintains a fearless demeanor, was terrified of Kaido. Kaido also defeated and massacred another warlord of the sea, Gekko Moria. Yeah, what, whatever happened to that guy? Oh, that's right, he got murdered by Blackbeard. Yeah, they took on the red hair pirates, after which they attempted to actually attack Whitebeard. Eh, c come on. I mean, that, that's already a testament of his power. He attempted to attack the Whitebeard pirates in the hope of killing Whitebeard, which few would dare. The five elders stated that they were one of the few crews capable of stopping Blackbeard and his crew. Yeah, that's that's how powerful they are. Kaido formed an alliance with fellow Emperor Charlotte Lin Lin, captain of the Big Mom Pirates during the Wano Country arc, increasing their power. After Kaido decapitated Orochi, the Shogun's ninja and samurai swore allegiance to Kaido and joined his forces. However, thanks to Tama's dangles, she was able to use her power to turn a large portion of the gifters loyal to her and switch sides, attacking their former comrades, causing their numbers to dwindle. Furthermore, their alliance with Big Mom was jeopardized when she discovered they had burned down a certain village. I believe they deserve this position, but tell me what you think. Is it the right position for them? Alright, now up next we have one of my favorite crews. Yeah, this this definitely does it for me. So we have the big mom pirates. Time and time again, we've seen the straw hat pirates become stronger and stronger after each new arc where they find themselves in a situation that seems impossible to get out of. They somehow manage to come out on top. That being said, there are some crews in the One Piece universe that could absolutely decimate them if given the chance. We're looking at you, Big Mom Pirates, and I know not many people agree with me on this one. Now, this crew is led by Charlotte Lin Lin, otherwise known as Big Mom, an individual who has been described as a monster by even the most seasoned veterans of their day. She's got a bounty of 4 billion berries, which is nothing to sneeze at. Although she's gotten weaker with age, she's still extremely powerful and dangerous for anyone who crosses her path. She eats an entire country in food every two weeks and she has a wedding cake bigger than most houses. Her skills include the powers granted by the source of fruit powers that allow her to make deals with people. But if they don't live up to the end of the deal, she absorbs their soul into her giant wedding cake. Or if they show fear, she can simply rip their souls out of them. Yeah. That, that, that works both ways. It would be hard for anyone, even Luffy, to beat this crew without his Gear 5 form. I mean, just imagine how many individuals you'd have to fight before you even got close enough to the captain. But luckily for all of us, uh, this pirate crew will never be defeated because Big Mom loves sweets too much. So she'll never reach Raftel Island where One Piece is supposedly hidden away so she can become Pirate King. But in all seriousness, although she was beat by Kid and Law, she was not done much justice in my opinion. Among the reasons why the Big Mom Pirates deserve this position is simply because 74 of Big Mom's 85 children are confirmed officers of the Big Mom Pirates and considered among the elite of Big Mom's army. Excluding the three sweet commanders, Vito describes four of them, Perospero, Daifuku, Compte, and Oven as monsters on par with the sweet commanders. So, Barry Spiro, the first son with a 700 million belly bounty on his head, easily defeated both Chopper and Brook and would have killed them with his candy powers if Pedro had not sacrificed himself. Yeah, pouring one to you, Pedro, rest in power, my niggy. Oven, the fourth son, was able to temporarily paralyze the entire Sun Pirate crew with a single one of his heat attacks. And Daifuku, the third son, is capable of wreaking large scale destruction with his genie powers, which, by the way, are so awesome. 
Not to mention, Katakuri is extremely powerful in battle. His massive bounty of 1 billion belly demonstrates how dangerous he is, regarded by the world government. And Capone Beji of the infamous Worst Generation has declared him a monstrous threat. According to his crewmates, Katakuri is the strongest of the three sweet commanders, the strongest of Big Mom's children overall, and thus the most capable member of their crew aside from Big Mom herself. Daifuku even stated that if Big Mom died, Katakuri's abilities would make him the most deserving of succeeding her as uh, captain. Alright, now this one doesn't come as a surprise. Now, One Piece is easily one of the most popular anime and manga series in Japan. It's filled with action, drama, comedy, and romance, although less of the last one. The Straw Hat Pirates are filled with a diverse crew that keeps fans on their toes. Each member brings something new to the table, whether it be their fighting style or their sense of humor. The captain of the crew happens to be one of the strongest pirates ever seen in the series, Monkey D. Luffy. He can stretch his body like rubber, he can use haki, and he has eaten the most powerful devil fruit which grants him the powers of the legendary Joy Boy. Other members uh, include Rorono Azoro, who uses three swords and is an excellent swordsman who hopes to beat Draco Mihawk and become the greatest swordsman of all time. Nami is another popular character in One Piece who has a love for money and maps. She also carries a weapon called the Climb Attack which creates various types of weather conditions. Usopp is another fan favorite as well as Nico Robin who joined later on in the series. Tony Tony Chopper takes care of everyone with his great medical skills, while Frankie builds things such as miniature ships or weapons. Sanji cooks food who by the way is an amazing fighter and Brooke plays some great music while doing some pretty cool attacks. Not forgetting the newest addition to the crew, Jinbei the son of the ocean. Overall, this band of pirates are some pretty strong ones you don't want to mess with. Okay, this one is really gonna offend a lot of people and it's gonna spark debates hopefully because uh, you know, we have to engage uh, if the debates are going to happen, just put it in the comment section there. Alright, taking the number 5 spot are the White Beard Pirates. The White Beard Pirates are considered one of the strongest pirate crews in One Piece and their captain was known as the strongest man in the world. The captain of this crew was Edward Newgate who was a former member of the Rocks Disha Beck's crew before he formed his own. This crew was also known as the most feared pirate crew in the entire world because of their tremendous power. Not only because of their captain's powerful devil fruit, but also the very sheer raw potential of Haki possessed by the crew that was so amazing that they rivaled the pirate king and his crew in their prime. And as Kaido put it, having a cool devil fruit power is not enough to run these streets, boy. Even after his death, they were still an extremely powerful entity that many characters feared to face even with their captain gone. It's quite unfortunate that they lost their final stand against Blackbeard, but what can you do about that? In fact, this is a group that no one wants to mess with and it gets worse if you are on their bad side. <laughs> because they will make sure you regret it for a long time. Even after their defeat, their first mate Marco the Phoenix still remains adamant in the Wanokuni arc, representing his former crew in the best way possible. Done. Alright, and at number 4 we have the Blackbeard Pirates. Okay, this is a bit, um, we're now entering Uncharted Waters. So, Blackbeard and his crew are one of the strongest among the Yonko. The only man who has defeated Whitebeard since Roger, although, to be fair, it wasn't a direct fight. Yeah, bite me. Blackbeard is one of the most notorious pirates in the One Piece world. He also carries two devil fruits that make him even more formidable. The Yami Yami no Mi or Dark Dark Fruit and Gra Gra no Mi or Quake Quake Fruit. The former allows him to create an abyss of darkness around him with his powers while the latter grants him seismic abilities that can ravage entire lands. The rest of Blackbeard's crew is just as powerful, with each member holding a bounty of at least 100 million belly. Members include Shiryu, who was once the head jailer of Impel Down, Van Ogre, a sniper capable of destroying ships from a long range, and Katarina de Vaughnfield whose Hanahana no Mi powers allow her to create illusions, together they form one of One Piece's most terrifying crews, and we have not even seen them at their full power, so this is gonna be interesting. Alright, uh, I know I said uh, like the previous two pirate crews would offend people, I think this one this, this one is going, going, to, going to end my career before it even begins. So, uh, next up we have the red hair 
pirates. Shanks, also known as Red Hair, is one of the four emperors who rule over the New World. He and Buggy were former Roger Pirate members. Shanks gave Luffy his straw hat and inspired him to embark on his own pirate adventure. His former captain Gold D. Roger gave him the straw hat. The hat was later on a farewell gift with the promise of meeting once more when Luffy has created a name for himself. At the age of 9, he joined Goldie Roger's crew alongside Buggy, but unfortunately, Roger was discovered to have had an untreatable illness. However, the Roger Pirates continued their journey to the New World. Shanks, on the other hand, was unable to accompany the crew to Laftio because he remained with Buggy who had fallen sick. Roger rose to the position of Pirate King and the crew disbanded a year before his death. Shanks also left the crew but went to Roger's execution in lockdown. Later in lockdown, Shanks made plans to form his own pirate crew. Now, Buggy declined Shanks' invitation to join his crew and later formed his own crew. Yasop, Ben Beckman, Lucky Roo, and Rockstar are among Shanks' closest crew members. Yasop, Usopp's father and Luffy's crewmate, was his first recruit. He learned about the most precise and reliable sniper on Gecko Island and went there to hire him. Shanks' right hand man and most trustworthy member is Ben. Beckman. While Beckman understands how Shanks operates, his reckless decisions continue to amaze him although the first mate is not without merit, as even an admiral such as Kizaru knew not to piss him off although that, that does remain debatable. At Dawn Island, Lucky Roo is the one who shot Higuma's man who had been pointing a pistol at Shanks' head. This boy had no sense, that, that's what we call it. He already, he already lost his brains before, you know, uh, Lucky Roo put the trigger. He is extremely loyal to the captain and he is frequently seen with Yasop and Beckman alongside their captain. It was also confirmed that he is the person who actually retrieved the Hito Hito Nomi from Who's Who and his speed is known to be ironically unmatched. While not much is known about this pirate crew in terms of strength, it's safe to say that they are one of the strongest. As Oda previously stated, Shanks is not the most ardent Devil Fruit fan. His strength stems from his his incredible effective use of all types of haki. Furthermore, the swordsmanship that can cause Mihoku is often referred to as the strongest swordsman in the world to have once looked at him as a worthy opponent. I think that's enough of a testament to this man's power and his cruise power. Alright, not surprisingly, at number two we have the, well, the Rocks Pirates. So, the next crew you should know of, well, uh, the Rocks Pirates, as I say. Not only did they lay waste to the world, but their crew was also composed of some of the best pirates in history. A man named Rocks Disha Beck led this crew and was known as one of the greatest captains during his time. The power and influence his crew had was so great that even though he died many years prior, his name still strikes fear into anyone who has heard it. His most notable member is Edward Newgate, who is more commonly known as Whitebeard, as I previously stated, but for some reason I, I felt that I should mention it again. Now, he is recognized as perhaps being the Pirate King's greatest rival to have ever lived within the One Piece series. Shiki the Golden Lion, who still remains alive and well today, despite being kicked around by Luffy. Other members that are noteworthy besides Whitebeard are Charlotte Lin Lin who is also known as Big Mom as you guys already know and Captain John whose treasure caused his demise and it's kind of the central focus of Buggy's entire character. And we have Kaido, captain of the Beast Pirates. The Rocks Pirates became relatively unknown to the next generation due to Rocks quest for dominance, which led him to double in forbidden studies that the government covered up and the crew's lack of brotherhood which caused them to rarely speak of their time together, kind of just contributed to the whole thing. But overall these guys are really, these guys were just really powerful very powerful and at number one of course ha ah, goodness my my favorite overall so the list of the strongest crews in one piece is long and diverse the thing about one piece is that with so many characters and stories there are so many strong crews it could be said that the most powerful pirate crew to have ever sailed the ocean was Gold D. Roger himself. Even though that's a matter of debate as there is little that we actually know about Joy Boy and possibly his crew. 
We can imagine what kind of power their captain had as he managed to achieve his dream and find the treasure hidden by Joy Boy on Laftail Island. From what we know, Rayleigh was also a member of this crew and he was second in command after Roger himself. Goldie Roger was also accompanied by one of the strongest pirates in the current age, Red Hair Shanks, who later founded his own crew called the Red Hair Pirates. We, we already established that, so... Okay. And he became one of the four emperors alongside Whitebeard. Roger was portrayed as a kind and caring man around the people he loved, but he could instantly become a monster if those he cared for were threatened, going as far as destroying entire ships. But perhaps one of his greatest feats include the hero of the marines, Gop the Fist, at God Valley. As to defeat the rocks, pirates, Gold D. Roger and Monkey D. Gop had to work together. Even so, only their captain was confirmed to have died during the battle as the majority if not all non-members survived and escaped to form their own crews. But still, the Roger pirates, much like the white beard and red hair pirates, had little reliance on devil fruits and preferred to master Haki. They were so skilled in it that Ray Lee was able to block a powerful attack with nothing but a single finger. If that doesn't scream power, I do not know what does. Alright guys, that's it and uh, if you would like to see more content related to One Piece, please just comment in the comment box below and tell me what you would like to see next. And uh, with that, that's all. Uh, please subscribe and hit that like button and hit that notification bell for future mossy content yeah because that sweet content is coming through yeah that sounded wrong oh boy